Hey guys, and welcome back to Feed the World, and welcome back to the farm. Now, this episode, we're going to be looking at the sugarcane fields that we've got and our cow pen, because we're going to be combining the two. We're going to be getting sugarcane and leather to make ourselves some books, which we can then turn into bookshelves, which can augment our enchantment table to get us the highest level enchants. I'm also going to try and plant for you guys a myrtle ebony field, and I'm also going to try and get a walnut from the cross-pollinated saplings that we get on the bee tree breeding ground. Okay, so with that in mind, Let's dig right in. Okay, so I've already farmed like a bunch of sugar canes. Here you've got like, we've got like a stack, plus 18. I've also got a load of raw beef and leather from where I was going at my cows with a stone sword to get the leather that we need for the bookshelves to make our enchanting table work. Now, one of the things I remembered you guys saying and one of the things I promised you guys I would do is I would put a myrtle ebony field down since, you know, we got that cool new tree, but we haven't got an orchard for it. So what I've got to do now is get some saplings for the myrtle ebony and make myself a Myrtle Ebony Orchard. Oh yeah. Right, so here we go, 23 saplings. This should be just enough. Now I'll need a grafter as well because I'm probably gonna need to plant one tree, graft it, and then use the saplings to make more. So let's see, any grafters in here? Nope. But I'll tell you what I will do. I'll use this opportunity to clear out my pack for all, from all these stone tools that I used underground and to build my quarry. And the stone sword I used to farm up the cows. Now, actually, looking at the size of this chest, one of the things I'm probably going to need to do is separate weapons from tools because I've got so many weapons in here, like a shotgun, thormium sword, steel sword, and a bow, but I've also got tons and tons of equipment like scoops, pipettes, wrenches, and all that crap. So what I need to do is separate those two so I've got more space to store my tools and my weapons. Right, so let's make a grafter. And what do I need for grafting? I need a couple of bronze ingots and some sticks, and that should be plenty of tools for me two there three in each of those and that will get me two grafters perfect now let's go and create this myrtle ebony orchard oh yeah let's go oh yeah now i could just jump over the water but i'm actually going to use oh man this creeper explosion really did a, did a number on this tree here but it's still up and running yeah i'm, I'm actually going to use this bridge that i built because why not you know it's here for a reason and a bridge that's built might as well be used so i've got i think what two maybe three fields over here now if i plant this just right that's one field for Myrtle Ebony, one field for Chestnut, and one field for Walnut. And that's a perfect number. Okay, so where am I going to put the Myrtle Ebony? Now, these are quite big trees, so we're going to need quite a large area to put these in. And I think, well, why not here? This is this is about a nice a nice big orchard size. Now, I think some of these some of these dirt blocks have been pinched by Endermen. Oh, pesky Endermen. I hate them. I mean, creepers are kind of one thing. They'll come at you, they'll blow you up, and they'll wreck your, wreck your stuff. But Endermen are even worse, because while you're not looking, they will just pick up a block and throw it away. And if that block's like something serious, like, I don't know, imagine if they walked into your nuclear reactor and they stole the core. That would be that would be terrible. How would you get it back? And what would you do? It would probably cause a melt meltdown. It would be a nightmare situation. Right, so, where are these saplings? Let's put these down. Now, these go in a block of nine, I think. And there's nothing to block this from the sky. So this should go up lickety-split going down it, hello is this gonna there we go there we go they're planted and that looks pretty cool oh wow that's a big one that's a real big one okay so i'll just graft some of these leaves to get some extra saplings because i'll need nine per tree i think i'll probably get about four trees in here and now i've got 23 saplings um that's probably not enough to make four trees three more trees let's put another one in the corner over here and come on spamming right click spamming right click Oh, I actually have to right-click on the tree in the middle. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, and bam, that's down as well. And now I've got room for, I think, probably just one more. Because these are a massive tree. So I don't want to kind of congest the area too much. And in it goes. Oh, yeah, massive trees. Now let's take a look, step back and see what these look like from a distance. Oh, yeah, I love that I love that kind of waxy, kind of light brown wood. And that really kind of pastel green for the leaves. Oh, it's a majestic colour right there. Okay, so that's our Myrtle Ebony Orchard down. Now let's head back to the farm and get these bookcases down so that we can get our enchantment table up and running and we can finally enchant our Thormium pick with some badass enchants that will make mining for diamonds that much easier. Oh, the honey engine's pumping away. Now we're going through our honey reserves quite quick because we haven't got the seed oil or the biogas engines over here to use seed oil for, that, uh, for these engines over here. So we need to get a walnut orchard up and running ASAP. In fact, once I've put the bookcases down, and got the enchantment table up and running. I'm going to go over to the B section and check on the saplings over there. See if we've pollinated any common, I think it's common chestnuts. 
or sweet chestnut. Yeah, I think sweet chestnut is the one before common walnut. And uh, oh, I, I, don't, I, I can't remember. One chestnuts first and walnuts second. I think maybe, or maybe it's the other way around. Either way, we'll see if we got those. Right. So what was I going to do? Make some bookcases with the leather that we've got, and the and the sugar canes and the wood. Okay. So it's one leather in the corner, and sugar canes. In a, wait, that should be a book. Oh, no, no, wait, I need pages first. My bad. There we go, that's pages. So I'll just use up all these sugar canes to make as many pages as I can. Because I've got plenty more sugar canes growing in the farm. Also, one thing you guys mentioned is that sugar canes grow quicker on sand. So what I did is I replaced all the dirt that we had in that, in that farm bit with sand, and now it's growing so much quicker. You guys were right. And as always, I really do appreciate your help and your tips. So if any, ever you see me doing something wrong, or you see somewhere you can, you know, think, hey, Sjin, you know, this you could do this easier. If you only did this and this, if you mixed X with Y, then, you know, it would make it so much easier. Then just say in the comments section, and I'll probably see it and be able to fix what I've done wrong. Oh, man, I'm going to need loads more paper, actually. I've only created, what, 26 books? I've got tons of leather still left. So I'm going to go over to the sugarcane farm, and yeah, oh, already it's already grown back up to three. So I'll just trim off the top layers, get all the sugar canes, and make some more books. Oh, meanwhile, actually, my hunger bar is really low. And I made these biscuits, but they only do like half, yeah, or like half a steak. Half a steak of hunger, and that's, that's kind of quite crazy. So I'm going I'm to need to eat a whole pack of biscuits just to fill myself up. And that's going to make me fat, really fat. So I need to make this into bread instead, I think. And there we go, that's close enough to full hunger. And now I'll just run around and bash some sugar canes. Here we go. It's super quick to farm sugar cane because you just need to hit the second from top layer and it destroys everything above it. Oh, I'll just replace that sugar cane that we've messed up there. There we go. Sugar cane down. Now I'll just keep bashing the sugar canes. And also, it doesn't take much to, to kind of bash them until they fall away. Just one click and the sugar cane falls away. It's really quick and really simple and really easy. So farming sugar canes is really efficient. Now there's cool ways where you can automate sugarcane farming. If you had like a redstone, a red power block breaker, you could literally just have it break the blocks as the sugarcanes grew and suck them into pipes. And that's an idea perhaps, but the truth is we don't need that much sugarcane and I don't want to automate my farm too much. I want it to look cool while still, be qu while still being quite efficient. And I think an example of that is the multi-farm over here. Now it still looks very cool and it looks very natural, but it is actually quite automated. And in fact, let's go down here and see how much wheat has actually been produced while we've been gassing and doing other things. Oh, whoa, look at, oh, holy crap, holy moly. We're swimming in wheat and we're also swimming in seeds. All I need to do now is work out a way to get those seeds into my seed oil, uh, in, in, into a squeezer so I can turn them into seed oil. Because at the moment, I'm not sure, I'm not sure you can actually suck out seeds specifically. I'm not quite sure. If you guys know that I can suck out seeds in a specific way, tell me and we might modify our farm. Oh, night falls. I'm going to go and have a sleep. And we might modify our farm so that I can suck the seeds out and put them into the seed oil tank instead of having to rely on solely walnuts and chestnuts, which is what I plan to do so far. But if you know a way for me to extract those seeds, do, do tell me in the comments section. Another glorious morning on Stin's farm. Oh, whoa. Hello. Who are you, little dude? I think it's a wisp. Well, I better be careful actually, because those those have a nasty kind of they have they have a nasty attitude. They've got a real wicked streak to them. So if I get too close, he might zap me with lightnings. So I better be careful. Well, they they do make a pretty sound though. Let's be careful. Let's just keep our distance. Pick at the ready, so we can go guns akimbo on him if he gets if he gets physical. No, he looks he looks quite passive. I think he's gonna just ignore us. Whoa! Oh no! Lightning! Get out of here! Hide in the barn! Hide in the storehouse! Whoo! Okay, now where's my shotgun? Oh crap, I haven't got my shotgun. I'll tell you what I do have, guys. I've got my bow. Okay, let's bow up. And I've got plenty of arrows. Alright, you scumbag. Round two. Here we go. Ooh. Oh! I'm taking hits. Did I get him? No, I missed. Oh, he's hard to hit, this one. Oh, I think I hit him there, but it did no damage. Oh, this is weird, and I'm running out of health fast. So I'm going to have to eat up my biscuits. And maybe use, like, a thormium sword on him. 
I do have a Thormium Sword, I think, in my chest over there. Okay, my hunger's full, so my health is recharging. I'm just gonna wait for that guy to leave before I exit this storehouse, because, man, he's a badass. Shooting lightning out of his fingertips. Well, if he had fingertips, he'd shoot lightning out of it, but he doesn't, so he's just shooting out of his butt. Let's hope that purple dude's gone. Do you see him, guys? Do you see him anywhere? Let's sneak. Let's sneak over to the barn. Go through the bushes. Go through the through the flowers. Let's keep low. Stay low, guys. Do you see him? Do you see him anywhere? I don't see him. I think he's gone. I think he's left. Good stuff. All right, now make a dash for the barn. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Woo! Okay, I made it. Now, where is he? I'm, I don't see him anywhere. wonder where he came from. That's spooky. Maybe he's up in the sky. Nope, don't see him up there either. Weird. Okay, well, let's get inside the barn and put down these bookshelves around the enchanting table. So, the most efficient setup for an enchanting table is to have 30 bookshelves around the side. And by that, I mean you have just like kind of a cube with the enchantment table in the middle. And I'll start making the cube right here by putting the bookshelves around the side like this. And already you can see the magic, you can see the knowledge being pulled out of those books and into the enchantment table. Now I've only got a few enchant- I've only got a few books bookshelves left. So not quite enough to get the most efficient setup, but I'm definitely well on the way. I just need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven more bookshelves, and I have the perfect setup. While the sugar cane is growing back, it's a perfect opportunity to get some grafters and see if I've got any kind of chestnut tree. Right, so let's get the grafters out. It's time to go nuts on these on these pollinated leaves. That's a hill cherry. No, no luck there. Hello, what are you? Silver lime? Not what I'm looking for. What's this? Myrtle ebony? What the hell? How did I get a myrtle ebony from that? That's weird. There's no myrtle ebony here to pollinate with. It's so bizarre. We're getting lots of cherries from this, though. That's pretty cool. Maybe we can make, like, some kind of cherry pie with the leftover cherries. Let's just pick this up. Did I get that sapling? Was it a... a K-Pok? What the... How the hell am I getting all these weird, weird saplings? I don't understand. Like, there's no trees around here for a hill cherry to breed with that would give me a K-Pok. It's just madness. Unless maybe there's a log left over somewhere. Maybe I didn't mine, like, a log, and it's contaminating the, uh, the field. Oh, what's this? Now, this is a new color. Hello, common walnut. There we go. Ah, oh, yes. Success. We got a common walnut, and we're on the way. So I don't need to bother grafting any more of these trees. I can just get my... Oh, well, I don't even need to get my axe, actually. What I can do is... Because the common walnut pollinates with both the silver lime and the hill cherry, what I can just do is plonk down this tree, graft some more saplings, and mix these with the trees that are already here to get ourselves some possible chestnut trees. Right, so I'll need some bone meal from the storehouse, so I'll get my ass over to the storehouse. I really do need to replace this scarecrow, actually. It's, it's becoming a thing. I mean, if I, if I don't do it soon, I'll just completely forget about it, and then I'll never have another scarecrow again. I wonder who stole him, anyway. Why would you steal a scarecrow as well? It's not like he was very valuable. I mean, they could have gone in my house, stole some of my diamonds, my, my precious minerals, my ores. Instead, they went out and they stole my scarecrow. What a jerk move. What kind of a jerk steals a guy's scarecrow? It's a, it's a supremely jerk move. Okay, so I'll put the common walnut right here. I'll right-click. Now, what does this thing look like? It's not it's not growing for some reason. It's not, it's not growing. It's not growing at all. There's no way that a common walnut wouldn't plant here. So I'll put this down and see if it grows in this kind of empty, empty plane here. Spamming bone meal, spamming bone meal. It's still not growing, guys. This is weird. I think I definitely need more than one sapling for this. Yeah, it looks like the common walnut does actually need four saplings per tree. So I've got to get my grafters out and pray to God that I find another common walnut. There's a tree. There, oh, there's, there's, there's a, uh, there's a leaf I can pick. No, I'll just need, I just need three more saplings, and I can get this thing. Okay, let's do it. All right, that's two. Two common walnuts. Okay, two down, two to go. Actually, is that a red leaf behind there? Oh, yeah, there it is. Fingers crossed. Oh, result. He shoots, he scores. Common walnuts. Okay, this is it. This is it. No, it's not. Just a hill cherry. Damn it. The last try, the last... 
The last charge on the grafter, okay. And I'm feeling lucky, I'm feeling really lucky. Oh, is it? It is, yes, four common walnuts. And in the, on, the, on the last charge of my grafter as well. So lucky, okay, and as night falls, I better go and sleep and then I can place down this common walnut. Now, which of these fields are we gonna to dedicate to the walnut tree? Now, I've never seen this before, so I'm actually quite curious about what it looks like. Let's just swim over here towards the fields and place this sucker down. Now, if I'm looking at the sapling right, it's got a very kind of dark gray texture to the log, but the leaves are a very vibrant, almost lime green. So I think I'm probably gonna place these trees. They're too thick. They're very, they're two blocks thick. They're a four by four tree. And that's about the perfect size for this mini kind of strip orchard you see here. So I just put four of these down like this. I'll bone meal these suckers up. And are you ready, guys? Are you ready? Are you ready to rock? Are you ready to see what this tree looks like? Kablam! Oh, ho, ho, look at that. Now, it is a very kind of dark green, kind of muted, dull olive almost in texture, log and leaf. They, they're very similar. So I'm just going to bash some of these, get some more saplings, get planting some more trees. All right, it's chopping time. Iron axe up in this mother trucker. Let's chop down this tree, get these lovely planks, and then get this orchard built. Oh yeah, I've just about got the reach to get all these planks, and that's great. These leaves should start falling down of their own accord any second now. Oh weird, look, already I can see uh, are these myrtle ebony saplings just falling away from the trees next to it. Yeah, they are. Oh wow, that's cool. I did not... Oh no, hang on a sec. This tree started to despawn as well. That's so weird. I chopped down this tree, and this tree is starting to despawn its leaves. That's so curious. Okay, well no worries. We can just replant another myrtle ebony, although we don't even need to because we don't really farm these trees for their leaves. We farm them for their logs. There we go. Okay, and we have our orchard of common walnut trees. Excellent job. Great work, team. Oh, no, I almost forgot. Yeah, we want to we be breeding this with the silver lime and the, and the hill cherry because those two together give us the sweet chestnut, which is a kind of upgraded nut, I think. I'm not sure whether chestnuts or walnuts give us more seed oil, but either way, we should probably cultivate both trees because, well, we're becoming some, somewhat of... Um, we're becoming kind of tree connoisseurs out here. So I'll just get the dirt out, patch up this Kapok zone. And I think this is the perfect place to plonk down one of these common walnuts. Now night is falling, so I better be quick about this. Now where's the bone mill gone? Oh no, I've used all the bone meal, so I'll go into the storehouse and see if I've got any more bones left to put down some more bone meal. Ah oh, yes, yeah, sweet. One final bone, but that's plenty to make three bone meal. Does it make three bone meal at a time? Yeah, it does. There we go. Perfect. That's that's fine, because I think three bone meal should be plenty to get the trees pollinating. No cows are spawning. That's a bit of a worry. It is nighttime, actually, so I think I might go and have a sleep, get rid of some of these beasties, some of these zombies, some of these creepolas, some of these skeletinis. Hip hop and it just don't stop till the saplings drop. Straight up G on the farm, it's me, Stjin, rocking out. We're coming at you with nuts. We're going totally nuts. It's all about the nuts. Walnuts, chestnuts. Who's nuts? Your nuts. You got these nuts? You want these nuts? The biggest nuts, the best nuts. Everyone's nuts. Beat the world. Yeah. That's a really bad rap. But here we go. Let's put down the bone meal. Oh, um, I've put up this patch as well, actually. I've got some spare dirt. Put this down. Oh, lovely stuff. Now, I'll plonk down the bone mill on the saplings. And there we go. Oh, perfect. Now, that is definitely close enough to pollinate with those trees. And I will put... Where am I going to put the next tree? Maybe down here? Now, remember, these things have a massive lean over with the leaves. They're like... A, they've got a massive canopy. And bees need space above themselves. They need to be able to see the sun to be able to actually pollinate trees. So, I need to keep these things slightly farther away from the apiaries than I'd like to have them. But it's fine because the industrious bees that we have have a pollination range, which is crazy. They can pollinate leaves up to like about nine blocks away. So if I plonk one on the corner here, that should be plenty close enough. Just put down another dirt block, I think, and I'll just plonk it on the corner right here. And is this going to go down or is it too close to the other trees? It might be too close, you know. Oh no, there we go. Perfect. 
All right, and now next episode, we'll take a look and see if we've gotten the sweet chestnuts, and we'll also finish off our enchantment table and see if we can get our Thormium pick enchanted. But that's been Feed the World. This episode, we've been looking at the chestnut tree and the enchantment table, and I showed you guys the most efficient setup for putting down the enchantment table and the bookshelves. We also took a look at our sugarcane farm. We need to get some more books, some more leather, some more pages, so that we can get the most efficient setup from our enchantment table. But I've been Shin, and this has been Feed the World. Hit like and favorite and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next episode. Take care.